This is for the show me. What? Goons and my homies. What? All the bad bitches, all the thugs, all the cronies. Yo. All the real goons, all the niggas that be tripping. Yo. Niggas that be pulling bad bitches straight pimping. This is for the real ones. Yo. This is for the thugs. Yo. This is for the niggas late night posting selling drugs. Yo. For the niggas yelling gang. For the niggas at a bank. bank. For the niggas at a rob. For they bomb and take change. Bank. For the niggas. Yo, 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 what's good with it? What's hood with it? Y'all already know who it is. What it is, your boy, Alias Reckless Podcast. Up, up, shouts out, salute the team movement. We love the kids, man. So today, man, weirdo video in effect, man. You know this shit don't stop, bro. You feel me? We airing out all weirdos on any type of level. We don't even care. You feel me? We go put that out there. Y'all know how we get down over here. So without any further ado, let's just jump into it, man. We go go into the artist Danny Brown talking about a party that he was at, an industry party that he was at in Paris, where you know, basically we'll let him tell y'all for itself. We'd be back like cracking the trap and all black. Yep. I did have a crazy pair of story. You did? Yeah. With a fan? No, Diane Wirt. What? Oh, really? Yeah. Ninja. You guys went out? No, the nigga was sitting on my lap trying to make out with me. What? And it freaked me out. Yeah, it did. Where were you? In Paris. But I mean, where in Paris? In a nightclub. I, I played a show and then my DJ... My DJ had an after party that he played. Yeah, this nigga. And he, and he, and he, and he tried to put it on you with your line. Like, you know what I'm saying? My bitch right here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I was, you know, I was a single experimenting man at the time. But he was too aggressive. The nigga broke. So I was like, he sat on my lap and started like trying to kiss me and shit and doing weird shit. I'm like, man, you tripping. And then everybody looking at me like, so I'm like, fuck. And then I just got stressed out and I got drunk as fuck. And then I uh, tried to walk down these stairs at the club, and I fell down them. Oh, no. And then my clothes were all dirty. I was wearing all white. This motherfucker right here? Yeah. Ninja. Ninja tried to fuck me. I'm sorry. I guess. <laughs> and he, I, was, I was scared. Damn. <laughs> In Paris. That's, so I think maybe. That's quite a look he has. They've been getting canceled a lot lately. Been well, yeah, I see the allegations shit. of a hate crime. Is yeah, one of they've the... been doing a lot of weird shit. But he always throw Yolandi on you. I think that's how he been fucking uh, niggas. Yeah. He be, he be getting <laughs> niggas, throwing her on up. Uh, God damn it. Why are we talking about that? Are they a couple? Fuck them, though. Fuck them. I, I could have canceled cuz. Me, too. Me, too. I was sexually assaulted by Ninja. <laughs> I stand by that. He know he know I ain't lying. Yeah. I, mad niggas can, but yeah, I remember I remember getting drunk as fuck, falling down some because I was just like, I think my brain was rattled because I really do like Yolandi. I'm like, man. So yeah. I was like, I was rattled about my situation. Like, man, should I really try this? I mean, it's, it might be a story. It might be a good thing. I mean, you know, sometimes I do shit for the story, but I'm like, I don't know if I want to see this nigga naked. I don't want to be in a room. Yeah, yeah. With this nigga. No, I definitely don't want to be in a room with this nigga naked. <laughs> no time. Unless it's prison. <laughs> And we going through the we going through registry. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't want to. That's the only way me and this nigga being naked together, dog. And I really thought about it, but I got so mad because like, man, I do want him. Where's he from? South Af Africa. This is South African, yeah. dude. Watkin Tudor Jones. But shouts out to Diane yeah. Work. Okay. <laughs> 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 Big shouts. I could have me too, that nigga, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big shout out to the guy that tried to assault me. Bro, and you know the fucked up part? You know, this is the <laughs> fucked up part. He hit me up. Because, you know, Diane or whatever. I was playing the show in Paris. He hit me up in the DMs like, I'm going to come to your show. Whatever. And I'm like, man, you want me to put you on a list? He's like, don't worry about it. I'll find you. And I'm like, okay. That was weird. That was like one red flag. Yeah. And then I'm playing my show and the crowd, he crowd surfed to the stage to me like i didn't never see him or nothing next thing i know i just see a person just being crowds and it was him and he crowd surfed to the stage i'm like he got on stage that was a cool ass entrance okay. i'm like this nigga lit <laughs> so it was like whatever boom and he's like man we got this party whatever come to this party <laughs> i'm like all right i go to the party and shit soon we get to the party this nigga sit on my lap and start kissing on my neck and shit i'm like 
Like you, that would have been a fight. It should have been a fight. But I'm in Paris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who want to be in a Parisian jail? Yeah. Motherfucker speaking French like nigga. You know what jail is like for me in Paris? It's gonna be crazy. Crazy. Like, so I'm crazy. I'm I'm seal shocked. Like this nigga is really is he doing this? That's and then I'm looking at my DJ and the look on his face is like horrified. He's yeah. like. And then, but it looked like I'm down with it. So yeah. he's like, nigga, I'm. So it was like, he's trying to like mind his own business. But I'm like, nigga, because I didn't want to push the nigga, like throw the nigga up off me type shit. But I'm like, nigga, I ain't, I mean, I ain't really like that. But like, man, you know me, you know, we got, oh, we got, Jesus. and guess what he said again? I'm just like, man, I'm just like, he's like, we'll tell you what hotel you staying at, whatever the fuck. I'm like, man, I don't, know. don't worry, I'll find you. He, he said, said that it again. again in my face. He said it in the DMs and then he said it again in my face. That's what started making me pound drinks. Yeah. So I'm like, I might have to stab this nigga tonight. Yeah. Because this nigga knock on my hotel room door, bro. I'm stabbing the shit, and it's going to be a big deal. It's going to be a thing. Yeah. yeah you know what yeah. I'm saying? What's good with it? We back just like cracking the trap and all black with my homeboy snacks, man. Just to speak on it, give y'all my 24 cent, man. Y'all already know, bro. Man, it's easy to say what you'll do in that type of situation, bro, until you in that type of situation. Us being street people, us being hood people, you already know, man. We go chin check, you feel me? We go put that jaw on suspension. You already know what we go do. But at the same time, you got to think about you in Paris. How you going to get back home to the States, bro? You feel me? What if they get the trip and you stuck over there? You feel me? You already know your career is gone. You know you ain't going to have no career after that. You feel me? We talking about people that's got power, people, you know what I'm saying, that's big moguls, people that could blacklist you, that could blackball you, that could end your whole career, end everything you got going on. So it's easy to say what we do until we in that position or you got millions of dollars that you could lose, contracts that's up, you know what I'm saying, endorsements, features, so on and so forth. When you really got real millions and bread out here to lose by reacting in a hood manner or in the wrong way, you got to think about things differently. He might be laughing and joking, but trust me, ain't none of that funny. It's only, how can I put it, it's embarrassing as fuck, you feel me? Especially for, you know, a black man have to come out and say some shit like that. Man, you already know, he's laughing it off, trying to dumb it down. But you already know, a nigga hella embarrassed, nigga feel hella some type of way, you feel me? Like, nigga really want to go ham, but he know he can't go ham. So, the way that you do that is just talk about the story, laugh it off, dumb it down. Because if you don't, you already know what the repercussions behind that is, as fucked up as it is. But this is the sick-ass, twisted, demonic-ass industry that we dealing with. So, that just come with the territory. When you put that, when you put your name on that dotted line and you walk through that door, you know what come with it. You feel me? So, that's just a part of the game, as fucked up as it is. With that being said, y'all know who it is, what it is. Your boy, Alias Reckless Podcast, and we out. Reckless. This is for the show me what? Goons and my homies what? All the bad bitches, all the thugs, all the cronies Yo. All the real goons, all the niggas that be tripping Yo. Niggas that be pulling bad bitches straight pimping This is for the real Yo. ones, this is for the thugs Yo. This is for the niggas late night, posting, selling drugs Yo. For the niggas yelling gang, for the niggas at a bank Bang. For the niggas at a rob, for they bomb and take change Bang. For the niggas paying bills, yeah. take